some people do need to realize that not everything about yourself makes you better than everything everyone else that's not necessarily true and Kendall lit commentary slash reactionary commentary Josh basically he pointed this out one time around the month of January or February that INTJs have a tendency to take everything about themselves and whatever they're not oh that's bad it becomes a sort of subway sandwich ideology or outlook on the world that's my observation subway sandwich ideology right there okay uh, I'm a foul I'm white I'm male well fuck the crow mags fuck the melons and if you are a melon then all oh, thousands are just pussies whining about the fact that they were oppressed tens of thousands of years ago you can tell that how that can get annoying very quickly not everything about you is a paramount and I see this with people the nerdier INTs not just the J's dissing on extroverts I mean the extroverts you're always into going outside. You can have that. I have this. This is always better. You know, it's always better to be home watching TV, playing video games, doing stuff like this. It's always better, no matter what. The social interaction is always trash. Guys, be moderate. Be a little bit more modern. I'm saying this is an INTP with some INTJ leanings. It's annoying. Last year, I didn't identify as a white guy. I was Castizo. But I basically said, you know, I'm a Stizo. I'm not fully white. I'm not white enough. And I still said in my blog posts, and I was going through a bat with atheism. This is a place for Christian whites. That's what Western civilization is. That's what it needs to be because that's the foundation. And without the foundation, you don't have all the good things about that place. You don't have all the vibrant attributes of that culture. You don't have all the advantages of that infrastructure imagine if you put a bunch of pagans I mean not pagans southern Europeans in a Nordic environment with Nordic infrastructure with Nordic social policies knowing that they were self-regulating people and they didn't need complex governments and cities the place would be a mess and there'd have to be rules made to rectify the problems. It had to become more Mediterranean. Because those people were always horny all the time. They were more openly sexual. I believe the Romans learned that from the Etruscans. And this is something that they need those kinds of complex laws and governmental structures to account for. I didn't consider myself white and a lot of people that have the INT thing and they're not white they'll be race realists yet they won't concede to that issue fully. It'll bother them. It'll make them feel uncomfortable uninvited, 
unwanted, and even unsettling to think that something about you that's always going to be there kind of separates you from this paramount right here. And now that I consider myself white, I look at Aryanism in a positive way. Do I qualify as an Aryan? White? Yes, maybe. But Aryan? Well, my hair certainly isn't as dark as this camera makes it seem. Sometimes I have light brown hair, but basically it's not light enough. My eyes aren't light enough. I'm not Aryan. And I still speak about it in a very positive way, knowing how Aryanism didn't just shape Eastern, I mean Western civilization, it also influences Eastern society in a way, and everything in between. We're outside of that. It has a very interesting role. And that's what I can appreciate, understand, I mythologize in a positive light. I'm very much into Nordic Nordic stuff. And you can say a lot of that is because of fringe elements and how I was an anarchist for a while and you have anarchist Ireland and all these interesting things that they were able to do that we certainly can't do. That self-regulation. I like a lot of fantasy. I like a lot of JRPGs. I like a lot of these things that all reek of that badass Nordic man. So I can move past that. I can also say that while males are the dominant the dominant sex, females have a lot of advantages that we don't. It's easier for them to learn things because they can multitask better, they're going to fidget a lot less, they're going to be more focused because of that, and because they're a lot more social, that's how they're wired. All those awkward, introverted stuff, no matter how many times tumblers are going to try to bash it in your head that it's cute and it may be cute it's not the norm that's why it's easy to tell that those wannabe introvert socially awkward quirky tumblr chicks they're faking it they're trying to be David Fabre they're trying to be wonka -san. they can't be wonka -san. these chicks want to speak like me they want to talk like me want to act like me, some of them even want to look like me, and these bitches need to stop. I recently saw a comment from a 40 through 60 year old Mexican MILF, and the guy responded in the next video, and she, and she wrote a response that sounded like something I would say. No problem, bro. You need to stop. You need to fucking stop. <laughs> I got broke into the worst fucking tangent ever. Can you believe that my ass might get 200 subs by the end of this year? Shit's crazy. This is Mr. Wonka 7. And suck my dick. Stop getting into yourself too much. Not everything about you is paramount. And thank me later. Y'all niggas can go to hell.